Radio waves are not at all unusual in the depths of space. They're released in almost all high energy natural reactions and thus penetrate even the massively thick interstellar clouds. It's also known that radio waves appear in a wide variety of forms. No matter whether gigantic radio tubes, frightening radio flashes, or gigantic radio bubbles, all forms known so far can be explained by astronomers simply by physical knowledge. Today we would like to present you with a mysterious and inexplicable discovery. If you like our videos, feel free to support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. An Inexplicable Discovery The new form of radio waves discovered in 2018 had even astronomers puzzled. Scientist Ray Norris and his team from the University of Western Sydney reported finding several giant radio waves that appeared arranged in a mysterious, circular shape. The total of three discovered circles of radio waves were sighted with the so-called ASCAP telescope, which thanks to new technology, offers an even deeper view into dark space than previous telescopes. A fourth existence of such circles could be confirmed as well, since the same shape became recognizable in the archive data of the GMRT, a telescope specialized in radio waves. Why were the circles not discovered before? In the past, fainter telescopes than the ASCAP were used, which could not provide quite as accurate views into the dark. In fact, the radio waves were also detected with the outdated technology. But the unusual shape of the circle could not be deduced from the data at the time. With more powerful telescopes, astronomers were finally able to detect these signals and arrange them in a circular shape. Miraculously, they were properly discovered during a standard sky survey with the ASCAP, which is a radio observatory consisting of a whopping 36 individual telescopes. What do these circular radio waves look like? On the pictures, we recognize that the edge of the structures is obviously brighter than the center of the circle. According to Norris, this ring has a diameter of about one minute of arc, even if this is initially only a rough estimate. The inner area, on the other hand, appears much larger and darker than the outer ring, creating this curious and unique image. What's also certain are the unsuccessful attempts with infrared light or X-rays. For the circles can only be truly found with radio waves, but not with other visible wavelengths. What is known about the circular radio waves? First of all, radio circles have been given the flattering name odd radio circles. These ORCs are characterized by the fact that they are symmetrical to each other and moreover, are located in the immediate vicinity of galaxies. The latter aspect can be carried out insofar that all four objects stand outside of the main plane of the Milky Way and additionally all of them show a weak, however existing, radio radiation. Unfortunately, even the revolutionary new technologies do not yet make it possible to determine the exact distance as well as the exact dimensions of the structures. But researchers are working on determining them retroactively with the help of powerful computers. Especially ORC1, the first strange radio circle found, is causing headaches for astronomers. The radio waves, which look like blue-green fuzz in the images, are related to an orange galaxy found at the center of the odd radio circle. It's questionable whether this galaxy can be evaluated as a fixed component of the ORC1 or whether it can be found only by chance in the center of the circular radio waves. Even if the ASCAP can collect and classify numerous data to structures in the middle of the universe, so far, many questions still remain open to the strange radio circles. While scientists are working to identify the ORCs and their origins, there will be no real prospect of success 
until space technology becomes more advanced. How did the unusual structures form? Besides the present facts, there are also many questions about the origin of the unusual radio waves that have not yet been answered. This is the reason why the ORCs seem so strange and unusual. All forms of the radio waves discovered so far can be assigned to certain events and happenings, except for the odd radio circles. On the one hand, it can be excluded that the structures come from a supernova remnant because the density is clearly too high. As Norris himself has to state, both form and radiation of the ORCs are extremely similar to the known supernova relics. However, the high density of the circular radio waves disproves this assumption by mathematical means. If one would declare the density of the odd radio circles as representative, according to astronomers, more than 50,000 supernovae should exist in this galaxy. Since so far, however, only 350 could be discovered in the well-explored galaxy, this theory of the supernova relic cannot be assumed. Furthermore, Ray Norris explained with a simple probability calculation why it seems improbable that the ORCs are supernova relics. Because even if one were to assume a very improbable galactic population of 1,000 pieces with the supernova relics, there would be only a probability of 0.02% that all three of them would be in the space detectable by astronomers. Thus, Norris specifies that the chance that the odd radio circles are supernova remains is more than improbable. On the other hand, the theory exists that the strange radio circles represent the broadside of a galaxy turned towards us. Ray Norris and his team have also investigated this possible explanation and can disprove it. Since the radio waves can be seen with technical aids, but not with the human eye or an unmodified telescope, it cannot be assumed to be a galaxy. As already indicated, one can recognize a galaxy in the center of two of the ORCs, but these seem to represent a rather distant and coincidental background object of the radio waves. So, the theory of the ORCs as galaxies can also be classified as extremely improbable. Furthermore, astronomers often talk about a so-called planetary nebula, which can also be connected with the odd radio circles. But a similar problem appears here, as with the remains of a supernova, as Ray Norris and his team already determined. Even if one were to assume an inordinately large occurrence of these planetary nebulae, which look confusingly similar to ORCs, the likelihood of detecting a full three of them in the window of space that astronomers can survey would be extremely low. Accordingly, like the supernova relics, the planetary nebula also fails the probability test, which means that Norris cannot rule it out as a possible explanation for the strange radio circles, but can classify it as extremely unlikely. Another possible explanation for the odd radio circles are the so-called Wolf Riot stars, named after the famous French astronomers Charles Wolf and George Riot. These stars are characterized by their special mass and their extreme heat, which is why they are often called the stellar giants. Only a few years ago, scientists could prove that the Wolf Riot stars say goodbye at the end of their days by a chemical explosion. Thereby, often circular radio waves are also created, which are very close to the ORCs. But Ray Norris also rejects this theory for the time being because the radio signatures produced by the stellar giants are clearly smaller than the odd radio circles. Thus, the explosion of a Wolf Riot star can still be so far-reaching that it would hardly be able to approximate to the scale of an ORC. Investigations continue. Of course, astronomer Norris and his team are far from the end of their investigations because the scientist already expressed a personal assumption he assumes that the ring-shaped radio waves rise as a representative of a new kind of radio occurrence. Norris imagines the ORCs as a kind of shock wave emerged from an extragalactic process since its form is typical for a reaction to such a stellar event. 
but also that the odd radio circles represent a new type of already known galactic phenomena, as in the previously listed examples. In any case, further investigations and observations are in order, so that in the future, more precise information about the origin of the unusual radio circles can be given. Opinion and Reference Space mysteries are simply always an exciting and breathtaking discussion topic. Because they raise so many new questions, which even the highly developed world of science cannot fully answer. And so do the odd radio circles, whose ironic name already expresses the desperation and cluelessness of astronomers. Above all, the ORCs provide new food for conspiracy theorists and alien fans, since the ignorance of scientists offers plenty of space for interpretations and extraterrestrial theories. However, these should always be viewed with a critical eye, even if they can lead to interesting and unusual conversations. Fortunately, astronomers are working daily to find a concrete and correct explanation for these bizarre radio circles, which will help dismiss the crazy conspiracy theories as erroneous. What do you think about the odd radio circles and their origin? Is there a particular theory that seems most likely to you? And why? Feel free to write us your opinion in the comments, where you can also receive personal assessments from other viewers and engage in insightful conversations.